Well, the result of this is what we just went over the top of the show. The Catholic Church in Germany is going through what may be the most profound crisis in its history. More and more people are leaving the church. Why are so many walking away? So in a few years, the entire church will be Germany as the Rhine continues to flow into the Tiber, you see? So we're not just sitting here saying, we want to defend our little liturgical preferences because we like Latin. It has nothing to do with that. The Latin Mass, as far as we can tell, is the last hope of the church, right? That's where you saw the growth, the only growth in the entire church, and he's shutting it down. So in defending the Latin Mass, we're defending you too. Every faithful Catholic, whether you go to the New Mass, the Old Mass, whatever you do, we're defending you too. Because this is not going to end well for any of us. The pews are emptying everywhere. The church doors are closing everywhere. And the last generation of Catholics for whom the church means anything, certainly means enough for them to drop a few coins into the, into the basket on Sunday morning, the last generation that would do that is 80 years old now. You see? There's nobody filling the pews anymore, anywhere. And they're all going to be gone soon enough. In Europe, most of them are gone already. Teo Nieto and his handful of keys are on their way to one of the 43 churches he serves. The parish priest from Aliste in the Spanish province of Zamora drives 50,000 kilometers a year. Teo gives the church key to an elderly couple so the photographer can take his pictures. Seniors like them keep the villages alive. Many young people move away. Everything used to be more humane. Now we're alone and need help. What do you think when you see that? One priest. One priest. In Spain, Catholic Spain. And here's a question. It was certainly it's what I thought right away. Looking at that, such as the Mass. Where do you suppose you go to confession in a spiritual wilderness like that where you've got one priest serving 43 different churches? Talked about that before. Right now in most parishes in America, the ones that are still open, you can walk in. Saturday afternoon, there's a little green light up there, isn't there, over the box, over the confessional. And you have the peace and consolation of going to your knees and confessing your sins. How much longer is that going to last, do you suppose, with churches all over the world closing like there are one priest for 43 parishes in Spain? Friends, please think about this. While all that's happening, the Pope in Rome is shutting this down. Think about that. Just try to come up with one good reason why this guy is shutting this down. Apart from the reality, which is he is a revolutionary who's trying to destroy the church. Whether you go to the traditional Latin mass or not, whether you appreciate it or not, look at this. Why would the Pope shut down the mass of all the saints, virgins, and martyrs back to apostolic times? Why would he be doing that when the church is dying throughout the entire world? He's finishing it off. He's euthanizing the church, what's left of the church. We are not talking about theological, mere theological differences of opinion anymore. We are not talking about traditionalism versus neo-Catholicism. We are not talking about Latin versus English. You understand that, right? What we're talking about now is the hostile takeover of the Catholic Church, the end of the human element of the Church of Jesus Christ. It's going to survive, it's going to go underground, but what we're talking about is the end of the visible Church of Jesus Christ in the modern world. At a time where, <laughs> in all the annals of history, you can't find record of evil being unleashed on the world like it is right now. It's a sobering thought. And people say, what are we supposed to do? What are we going to do? You talk about it. What you... I don't know exactly what you're going to do. 
There are some practical points that we can consider, but it really does depend on your state in life. A priest, for example, is going to do one thing in order to survive and to help others to keep the faith in this time. A single person.